Hey guys, midnight here, and basically, I just feel the need to just do this and show you the life of Florida in a nutshell. Yeah, nice, nice and pretty it is. It's a, you may all may think it's all in, always like this, but then you turn the kit, then you just slowly turn and you look at that. Can be ready in just an hour yeah, Florida is bipolar as fuck. Because last night it was pouring rain, and I mean pouring. This morning sprinkling all day. Pretty much nice, clear, sun, nice, clear, and sunny with a nice, cool, chill breeze. To help cold down this hot ass state. And then all of a sudden, 215 rolls around, and it's getting ready to pour again, and the skies are black. This is what you get when you live in Florida. Anyone who thinks it's the best thing ever, what do you get here? We do you have to deal with the hurricane, more so than with us, the hurricanes, and the bipolar ass weather. I can tell you a few different instances where it's been a day or a week or whatever that's been really, really hot. And then, and it's in the like the springtime, for example, where you wouldn't expect it to be freezing cold. But we have that one random day when it's like out of a week where it's like burning hot and out of nowhere it's freezing cold. But I can give you an example that's so well. With me and my youth group, one year, we decided to go to Wet n Wild. It was for spring break, too. That whole week, it was really freaking burning hot when we were going. And the day we choose to go, it's freezing cold. And that day, you could tell who all the snowbirds were and who all the Floridians were. Because the Floridians were laying on the hot concrete at that freaking place and they were wrapped up in their towels the snowbirds were fine swimming in the water and walking out with, them with their swimsuits on this is Florida bipolar as fuck but I, I do like living here you just get used to it I'll see y'all later